Okay, so we're doing this pipe work here. Pump's going in. Got this low level because there's a nice bench going across here, but we also want it nice and accessible. It's my new essential heating pump. Motorized valve for hot water, motorized valve for the heating. This is heating pipe work here. So that's now going to be fully controllable. That opens and shuts. When you turn on the programmer for heating, one for the hot water, it's my circuit there. Going to put on a cylinder thermostat. Because obviously the last system, the older system, the hot water came out very hot because it relied on the boiler thermostat to switch it off. Not ideal. We want a cylinder stat to switch the boiler off. So we're going to set the cylinder stat at 55 degrees, so it's fully controllable. So we're going to keep this all nice and accessible down here. Now, what's important is, at the moment, our cold feeling and vent go into the cylinder upstairs. That's how it works, the hot water gravitated, so there weren't going to be no issues. But now it's going to be fully pumped. It's going to be pumped around the coil. So that cold feeling vent has to be brought down here. That's why I've got this two piece here. Because the cold feeling vent has to drop in the negative side of the pump, okay? Because when we put that there, all that's going to happen is when we've got the hot water on, it's just going to pump up the open vent, the overflow and the header tank's going to go, it's going to be endless amounts of problems. Always the negative side of the pump when you're fully pumping. So when we put that there, take a 22 mil cold feeding vent up, straight from the header tank, and that resolves our issue there. And that's it, so I hope everybody on this is all up and running. Nice and easy, thank you.